All right, what about our weather? Meteorologist Matt Standridge back with the forecast. Hi, Matt, what, how's it looking? Hey, Lean, it's good to see you. You were just showing some of that flooding. And we yeah. could use some more rain. I know it's been kind of on the rainy side the past couple of days. It's been cloudy. It's been cool. But a lot of us are still actually running two, three, four inches behind where we should be when you kind of look over the past 12 months or so. So we don't need it to all come at once, right, and get flooding like that. But we could still use some of this rain that we are getting. At least it's been very light. And when you look at the weather maps, things are kind of a mess. So I've got a good view of anywhere from the Rockies towards the East Coast. And you see where Cleveland is, where we got the yellow outline around Ohio. And we have some showers that are going around the Ohio River right now. So a lot of Ohio is getting some light rain, but it's mainly central and southern Ohio. We've had a couple sprinkles today, but a lot of us have stayed on the dry side. And it's all thanks to that low pressure that's just hugging towards our south. Now that's thing's going to continue to chug along towards the East Coast. And as it does so, we still have the chance for a passing shower. And so that continues tomorrow too. But once again, Again, most of the time, we're just going to be kind of what it looks like right now. Mostly cloudy, stray sunbreak, maybe a stray sprinkle, and that's going to be the forecast going into your Sunday. Now, maybe just a touch warmer. Today, we're still kind of on the cool side. We, we didn't get a lot of that sun today. We've had a couple sun breaks, but it comes out for 15 minutes, and maybe you set your chair outside to sand out there for just a second, and then the clouds come right back in. And that's going to be kind of the forecast tomorrow, but we may get a few extra sun breaks compared to what we had today. Right now, we're sitting in a mix of 40s and 50s. The farther towards the south and west you go, we're mainly in those 50s. You head closer to the snow belt. We're sitting in the 40s right now. Tomorrow's high temperature temperatures, not, not much changes, right? But we may get a touch warmer, a couple degrees, try to add to that to the thermometer tomorrow afternoon. That'll be the big difference. Speaking of tomorrow, when we're trying to look at some of these rain chances, most of them are, once again, they're going to stay in southern Ohio, but we could get a slight chance, 10 to 20% chance for most of the early afternoon. And then mid afternoon would probably be our best chance for a quick pop up. But then as soon as sunset rolls around tomorrow, those chances will start to go away. Here's your national design our hour hour forecast. So overnight things look pretty quiet. In fact, we may try to clear out the clouds just a little bit. So as you're waking up tomorrow morning, we might have a little bit of sun, kind of like some of us did this morning. And then the clouds roll back in and then you notice that quick chance for a stray shower. But notice how they don't last over one location for very long. So you get a little bit of light rain tomorrow afternoon and then the shower just pass by towards the east and then you're pretty much done. But we have to watch out for that chance tomorrow. So here's your Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook. We're going to try to warm up a little bit more tomorrow. I think the best day in the near future will actually be Monday. If only we can get that on the weekend, right? We have partly cloudy skies expected for Monday. A southwest wind's going to build and we'll try to get into those 60s. I think your Monday is going to be a really nice day. The middle of the week, that's what we have to talk about. And also coming up at 11, we're going to really break down the system that's coming in Tuesday and Wednesday. It's an interesting one. A cold front's going to be coming in from Canada and that's going to knock down our temperatures. You can see that drop in the temperature there going into Wednesday. But it may be cold enough that some of those rain showers try to transition over to some snow showers. And we'll also talk about how long that will probably take place on your Wednesday. If we can get it to take place a little bit longer, we could talk about a little bit of light accumulation. When we say that, that's mainly under an inch or under two inches or so. But we'll be watching that very closely. That's the next big weather maker to talk about. And then once that passes through, it's just a quick shot of some cool air. Yep, we go back to the 40s for maybe two or three days or so in the middle of next week. But then we do rebound back towards next weekend, back into the 50s. We should be in the 50s this time of year, and that's where we'll head right back. So what you need to know for the rest of the weekend, 50s, mostly cloudy, stray shower tomorrow. But the next big weather maker won't be here until Tuesday and Wednesday, Lena. And that's when we have that chance for some rain, but also no! some snow. I know, I, I got to say it. Now at no! 11, we'll go over some more details. <laughs> Maybe that'll help. But yeah, it's a, it's a good shot of cool air. But Lena only sticks around for like a day. And then we try to warm up again. So that's the good news. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll see you at 11. Thanks, sure. Matt.